morning, everyone, and happy Sabbath. I hope you are having a beautiful day so far. Today I want to tell you a story about my best friend from college. Her name is Alexis, and she is Puerto Rican. And she has been teaching me a lot of different aspects about her culture over the years. And one year, she came up to me, and she had an item hidden behind her back. And she says, Valerie, I want to tell you a very interesting aspect of our culture. Every single person can play an instrument. And I thought, hmm, I don't know if everybody can play. And she says, oh, yes, yes, everybody can play. And this instrument is called a tutaru. And I raised my brow and I thought, hmm, a tutaru? And she takes this item out from behind her back to reveal a paper towel roll. <laughs> and I know, I was like, hmm, well, that seems interesting. And she says, well, wipe that concerned look off your face, young lady. I will show you how a tutaru works. Tutaru! <laughs> See, anybody can play a tutaru. And I just laughed and laughed, and I thought that was so funny. And I pulled that joke on my parents. I pulled that joke on a lot of other friends back home in Arizona. And I was like, you know, this is just too good to be true. But you know what? The truth is, you know, whether you can play a tutaru, a guitar, drums, harmonica, piano, God has given you a gift of music. And I believe the gift of music should be to sincerely praise God. Which reminds me, there is a Bible verse talking about such things. It's found in Psalm 98, verse 4. And it reads, Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth in song, rejoice, and sing praises. Well, God is so worthy of our praises, and he's so worthy of our hearts to just sing to him, because he is a good and wonderful and awesome God. And I, I think, you know, there are mornings I wake up and, oh, I'm so tired. <sighs> Oh, and I'm just not motivated to do anything. And oh, But this Bible verse is very good to remind me that I need to be praising God because first and foremost, he woke me up this morning. That's an automatic praise that I just ha should have in my heart because... Not everybody does wake up the next day. So to do that, we should be praising him. So if you wake up in the morning, that's a praise. If you are able to put on clean clothes, that's rejoicing. If you are able to have breakfast, well, that's another reason to rejoice. And the list can go on and on and on and on until your list is so big, you can't even imagine how wide your arms will spread in order to show how much God has done for you. So my encouragement to you this morning is to find ways to praise God, to rejoice in his name, to sing songs to him because he loves it when we praise him. And I hope to God that you have this fulfillment in your heart that you just want to burst out joy and praises to him all the time. I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your Sabbath and sing praises unto God. And I just hope that everything goes according to his will for your life. Happy Sabbath.